All right, guys, so this video is hella controversial. This has to do with Tesla adding radar back into their cars just after releasing a software that disables all radars from all cars and going directly to Tesla Vision. All right, so just recently, Greenly Only, you guys know him for the guy that knows everything about Teslas, all the internals and everything. He has tweeted out that the price catalog has updated with a new sensor, new brackets, uh, and that specifically goes towards the radar. And that's quite interesting because they just removed radar software in all cars that had radar before it and of course they highlighted and released Tesla Vision and it's quite sneaky and I use the word sneaky because this is when a chip shortage was happening and they had to work their way around it and instead of doing something that's beneficial to the car they've removed the radar and insisted that Tesla Vision is going to be the thing that makes the car autonomous. Now I'm not saying that Tesla Vision is unable to do it but that's just a naming convention very similar to Apple's Dynamic Island. Now leave the dynamic notch for another video here but it is just a software thing that can be added in just like how Tesla Vision always existed in the background even though they had the radar there they just renamed it to Tesla Vision just like Dynamic Island just to make it sound better even way back in the days with Autopilot 1 and Autopilot 2 and 2.5 realistically those are Tesla Vision what else are they gonna call it to be honest and it's funny that just when Hardware 3 came out and the chip shortage happened they renamed it to Tesla Vision so that they can remove a radar so hey Hence why I say this is sneaky, but it seems like they are adding it back again. And there's going to be a lot of people out there that say that Tesla Vision has always intended to have a radar or there's no radar necessary. But in the end, it seems like radar is going to be necessary. Now, the one thing a lot of us are missing out on from previous old cars is the fact that your radar can see underneath the following car to the next car and know when that car is stopping. And the best thing about it is you can see the car in your visualization. It gives you a sense of feeling that hey the car can see through another car it can see what's going on in front of your car whereas right now you're just gonna see a missing blank spot when you're at a red light which seems a little bit odd the fact that the car is unable to see that makes me feel that it's not that confident if you compare it to Waymo for example and Cruise they are able to see it because they do have lidar and radar and it just seems like there's no missing objects at this point with FSD beta is they're really trying to picture out every single thing that's happening around it and put it onto visualization of course there's gonna be one missing thing and that's gonna be the car in front of the lead car so getting back onto the topic with the new radar it seems like Tesla is adding this back they're adding a new radar with new brackets onto the price catalog and this has been confirmed again in the FCC filings that Tesla is trying to work on a new radar system and it seems like this is gonna be the front radar there's no words of any side or rear radars of course this is gonna be a much higher quality radar it's not just gonna be the same one that they're slapping back on again Elon has said this originally back in the day I can't even remember what year it was, but he says that the radar is relevant only if it is high definition. He never said the radar is going to be gone for good. He really just said that at the time being, it's not good enough until the technology really advances. So it seems like 2022 or 2023 is going to be the year where radar has advanced enough and price has gone down enough, where he's able to accept the fact that it's going to be put back onto the car and you guys are going to get the best visualizations and the best reactions ever again. Now what I've noticed with my radar car versus my Tesla Vision car is the radar does less phantom braking, believe it or not. I don't know why, but Tesla Vision reacts to pretty much everything, whereas the radar car right now reacts to less things. And this is definitely true when there is fog or sleet or uh, heavy rain or anything like that. Tesla with the radar does a lot better than it does with Tesla Vision. Now there's one thing that the Tesla radar car has over the Tesla Vision is the fact that you can adjust your following distance shorter, you have a higher cruise control top speed. There's actually quite a bit of things to be honest with the radar which what a radar can actually do versus Tesla Vision. Now the thing you guys are probably asking just like every other new product that comes out into a new Tesla and you guys really want it in your car, is it really able to be retrofitted? No. It's not going to be able to do that because the hardware 3 computer is not going to be able to work with this new radar. There's going to be new wire harnesses and a bunch of different things. Uh, so this is likely going to come on to the hardware 4 cars. Now speaking about hardware 4, I'm going to drop a link in the description as well if you guys want to check that out. They're working on new cameras right now for the Model 3 and of course probably the whole lineup of cars as well with the new camera placement. So likely that's going to be uh, something that this new radar is going to be added back onto. And then for the final thing here, somebody asked in the thread if this is going to be an ultra high definition radar. 
and Green the Only has replied and he said that it's not super ultra higher definition but it is higher definition so I think that's gonna be enough so there you guys have it as for the radar coming or not it is gonna be coming for sure because it is on the product catalog directly on Tesla you guys can check that out and it is available on the FCC filings as well if you guys want to check that out but anyways this should be it for this update of course if something else comes out regarding the radar or newer sensors I will let you guys know make sure you guys hit that subscribe that bell notification and this is it this is John once again peace out